right. uh, and so he decided that that's what he was going to do. Only he didn't realize that the mail route went from Dawson, from Dawson to Whitehorse to Skagway. Okay, so it's about, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to say roughly 500 miles or more. And he would take the mail from Dawson, stop at Whitehorse, pick up the mail, and go on down to the ships in uh, Skagway. And then he would make the return trip, and he did it that entire winter. The only thing is, Captain Billy was 74 years old. Okay? And they don't make them like that anymore. You know, today, a lot of body parts start wearing out, but, and the warranties are up. But uh, back then, those kinds of things didn't happen. Um, so now that leads me into the uh, art of a sled dog racing. You know, anytime you get a group together, somebody is always going to say, my dog's faster than yours. And then, yeah, but let's go out and find out. So, okay. Now, you think that the dogs that are on a sled team are just there, there are specific reasons for why they're where they're at. For example, the dogs in front of a sled, okay, are called the wheel dogs. Now, the wheel dogs tend to be your stronger uh, dog, and they're not um, f uh, afraid or fearful of much of anything. They can't be, because at times, that dog on sled's gonna boot them in the backside. And you know as well as I do, that every once in a while we all need a boot in the backside for one reason or another. But these dogs didn't bother them at all. Alright, so what they did is they would put these dogs right there in front. The next two, four, six, eight, ten, depending on how many dogs they had on the team, would be your uh, team dogs. Now the team dog is the kind of guy that you hate if you were in service go out in full battle pack and do 15 miles of a run, and these guys would say, gee, Sarge, can we do that again? That's these guys. They just, they are out there just because they love the run and not much of anything else. Then the next dogs in front of them and just behind the uh, lead dog would be your uh, point dogs. Now these are dogs that you think someday might make a good lead dog. And so that's why they're placed there. They know the command. Actually, all the dogs know the commands. And the commands are to and wrong, left and right. Okay, that kind of thing. All right. Um, so that's what they would be. Then you have your lead dog. Now your lead dog is sort of a combination of all of them, except for one other thing. They're headstrong. For example, many a musher's life has been saved by the lead dog, refusing to cross thin ice, not going in a particular valley because they sense an avalanche uh, or a crevasse or whatever. So if a musher is out and his dog refuses to go any, the way he wants him to go, he listens. And there's a reason. And so he would go either take a little longer way around or uh, whatever, whatever the dog indicated. And they have an uncanny sense of that. 